I founded the company Calix in 2006 and inherent with that technology was the ability to capture CO2 from calcining carbonate materials. So from 2006 to now, I've been thinking about it and slowly implementing it through lab scale, pilot plants, bigger pilot plants like this, and so on, building it up. And there's a very interesting story about cement, because I'd read a book about how cement was made. And I came to the conclusion our technology had no relevance to that at all. It took me a while to un when I read another article that the book I'd read was written in 1945. And this process that they described then was certainly not applicable. And in 2014, I read how they actually make cement today and I realised our technology would be applicable. So the light bulb came on. The, the, the role of the consortium is critical. I look back and I see the work we had to do on the fundamental process from our Imperial College and ECN TNO and that was very important because that gave us information we didn't know about and we needed to know in order to build this. Then on the other side to have the, the industrial partners saying, look, this is what you've got to achieve in this project to make it a technology that's actually viable for commercialization in the very short time scale that, that we have. And the com you have to understand the complexity of it was that there are established technologies for CO2 capture for cement that have been in development for 20, 30 years. This is 2014 is our starting point. So we're a third generation technology actually. So the involvement of industry is absolutely critical to move from a third you know, racehorse to becoming the top. We need that. The technical challenge that we faced was we had a process in Australia that was not really capable of giving the energy efficiency that we would need for a cement plant. <clears throat> so we had to do tests in Australia, we had to work with our um, technology partners, uh, CEMEX, ECN, uh, Imperial College, to do work to convince us that we could reliably change a particular approach and adopt that for this pilot plant. So we had to reduce risk in that process by a whole range of things. I still think today that is the biggest technological risk that we face. <clears throat> I think it will be the scientific acceptance of the results. They have to speak for themselves so that it's not a political argument. It's raw technology says this will work well in this cement process. So it's articulating that because there will be a lot of disbelievers that something so simple could ever work and I want the results to speak. So it's, it's really a challenge of communication. I'm really proud of the existence of this very plant. If you think that in 2014 it was just a concept, now to this as a pilot plant of that kind of scale, that is an enormous thing to be proud of. <laughs>